Hey guys, how's it going? Very few people have heard this one, but I figure for coming and listening and watching these video blogs, this is your reward. I was a late bloomer. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. Even though I've been on dates in high school and stuff, you know, I was very, very scared of the whole time to kiss thing. So I'd pull up to the girl's house, right? And then just be like, okay, see you later. And you know, I just wait for her to get out. Wouldn't walk him to the door. Nothing. I didn't want to seem like, you know, I knew once I got over that initial fear, yeah. Even in the movie theaters, there were some times, you know, it'd be all cuddly, but yeah, I'm skipping that part. Anyway, it happened at a hotel. I'm chilling out by the pool. These two girls walk out. And the instant I saw them, I was just like, wow. They came out, you know, they sat down. I'm a really shy guy. Or if I see a girl in person that's attractive, I normally go, go over and talk to her. Something just told me, go talk to these girls. To make a long story even longer, you know, we start talking. The one I was looking at, her name was Nikki. We'll call her friend D. So I'm talking to them, I'm talking to them, and, you know, I get up. I was like, I'll be right back. I get up, do whatever. I come back, and there's a guy there. So I'm just like, you leave these girls alone for two seconds. So I sit down, I'm thinking, like, I hope this dude isn't trying to holler at um, the girl I'm trying to holler at. Thank goodness he wasn't. He was trying to holler at D. His name was Danny, by the way really cool guy so it's now it's the four of us just sitting outside next to the pool me Danny D and Nikki so I'm focused on Nikki now we're all just talking talking whatever whatever but you know what I'll probably see you guys around tomorrow so tomorrow comes I go back out to the pool and sure enough Nikki's there we hang out pretty much all day so I'm asking, like, you know, where are you guys from? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. She's like, yeah, I came with my parents. I'm just like, oh, I thought y'all just came by yourself. We're like, okay, this is our last night. Da, 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 da. We're just walking around the hotel. Me, Danny, D, and Nikki. And it was like, okay, well, this is the last time I'm probably going to see you because we're leaving first thing in the morning. And I'm like, okay. And I'm starting to feel that pressure and like, okay. This thing is about to happen. I can feel it in the air. I start getting a little nervous. So they're like, okay, well, I guess I'll be seeing you around. I'm like, yep. And you know, it's I'm starting to get that feeling, the whole, yep, bye-bye. I was like, no. It's obvious that this girl wants a goodbye kiss. Fear was setting in. I'm like, you know what? Before you guys leave, Nikki, let's walk for a little bit. You know, I'll walk you back to your room kind of thing. We find a stairway. And we go to the stairwell, and uh, we're walking, we're walking side by side, and then she stops and leans up against the wall and just looks at me like, I think she was starting to catch on to the whole I'm procrastinating. So then I was like, okay, well this is it, this is it, I gotta move in for the kill now. So she's there, and it's like, okay, I'm thinking in my head, this is it, this is the moment. She's leaning up against the wall. And I slowly start to move in. I'll show you guys how it went. This is, I can't even begin to describe in words how this went, so I'm gonna show you guys. True love meant to be, but cursed eternally. Won't look back. All I know is this the fate for us, this winding road was made long ago. Needless to say, it didn't happen. I went in for the kiss, and then as I get there, I just was like, eh. And I just leaned on the wall next to her. Not smooth. Not smooth. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That was my biggest fear is that I was not gonna be good. How do you practice for these things, you know? I never wanted to make out with my pillow or my hand or anything for practice. In the stairwell, didn't happen. We just sat there for a good five minutes just looking at each other like, I'm here, and she's right here looking at me, and I'm just like, oh. One of the most embarrassing moments in my entire life, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, you know, we, I better get you back to your room. I didn't want no crazy dads coming after me or nothing like that. So I was feeling really bad. I went to sleep that night. I started 
guilt started setting in. The next day, I was like, you know what, this is going to happen. Walk out to the pool deck, they're there, it's their last day. It's 4th of July, by the way. So, I go over and Danny's there, Nikki's there, Dee's there, and her parents are there. So it's all five of them sitting at the table, I'm like, yeah, y'all got room for one more? And I look over at Nikki and she looks depressed, like she's sitting there just like, I sit down next to her and we're all talking and she's not saying a word. She has food in front of her and she hasn't touched it. So I'm just like, what's going on? You mean you're going to eat your food? She's like, no, I'm not hungry. In the back of my head, I'm like, I think this is because I didn't kiss this girl. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to go to the bathroom. D, let's go. So D and Nikki get up and use the bathroom and it's me, Danny, and I'm sitting right across from her dad and her mom. So I finally get to meet them. So I'm like, hey, how's it going? Da -da -da -da. And then dad's sitting there, I'm like, yeah, I'm a Donde, da 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 he's just sitting there, like, and he interrupts me. He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why didn't you kiss my daughter last night? And, uh, <laughs> when he said that, I was just like, what? Yeah. So, my initial reaction was, did this guy just say what I thought he just said? I could see Danny in the corner of my eye, and he's like, yeah, because Danny and Dee, they had been getting pretty friendly since day one, and three days had gone by, and I hadn't made my move. So when he said, that, like, why haven't you kissed my daughter? My reaction was, um, it's just the good guy complex, you know? Like, I guess you can call it the good guy complex. He's like, listen, we leave in 40 minutes. You take that good guy, you throw him out the window because I'm not about to be on a plane for the next three hours with my daughter all depressed because you didn't kiss her. So I look at the mom and she's just like, she wasn't about to help me out there. I am at a loss of words at this point. So now it's, yep, yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Okay. Hold on. Phone's ringing. Hello? What's going on, homie? I'm, I'm actually recording a video blog right now. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I actually got... Here, wait, Harry's calling me. I'm telling you what, I'm like twice, at least twice, maybe three times a day to see if you want. Wow. Oh, okay, hold on, hold that. Hello? Uh, Harry? Yeah. Guess who I have on the line with me? Yeah. I got Mr. Yeah. Fish on the line with me. Mike, you there? Yeah. Look at this. You guys both call me at the same time. Is yeah, it's Harry. Let me get back at you though, because I still have to finish yeah. up this blog here. That's cool, that's cool. I'll check it out whenever it's up. Okay, okay I'll text you when, I, when it's live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Alright, bro. Yeah. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's Mike. Hopefully, one day you guys get to meet Mike. And hopefully, you get to meet Harry. Anyway, so yeah, her dad. Throw the nice guy out the window. He's like, we have 45 minutes. It better happen before we leave. So she comes back with D. So I'm like, well, you guys wanna, you know, walk around. If y'all aren't gonna eat, let's go, let's go somewhere else. So we go over to the lobby, the four of us, and as soon as we sit down, D and Danny are like all over each other. Um, so I'm watching this like, wow. And me and Nikki are sitting there just like, and I'm looking at my watch every few minutes like. The dad comes into the lobby to check out, and he's mean mugging me, he's just... I look at the clock, I have 10 minutes now. You know, I spent 30 minutes just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, Nikki, um, let's wander over this way for a second. So she's like, fine, whatever. We get up and we start walking, and I walk past the dad, and I glance up, he mouths the... He, this is what he does to me. No lie. No lie, he mouths those words to me. If you thought I was scared before, <laughs> now dad is gonna kill me if I don't make out with his daughter. I, you know, I, was, I was just confused. So we walk over, we walk around the corner, and there's this little side room. So we go in there, it's really kind of dark. I take her, put her up against the wall. I move in and bam! It was, it was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, you know when you go to Krispy Kreme and you get the donut right off the production line and it's still hot and they just added the glaze to it and you take it and you bite it and it's just like oh that's what it was like